Hey guys, Sausage here, and welcome to a Meatball and Sausage new. Uh, yeah, th this is the TLC world. Side note, if you just want to skip the TLC news, skip forward to about 11.38 in the video. You'll get the basic channel news and not have to sit through all of the stuff if you're not bothered about the TLC world in general. Thank you! I did say I would do the news from now on in the TLC world. We have ourselves a few animals. Uh, and, uh, Kashido here, the... Absolutely wonderful skeletal horse. I love this guy, I really do. Uh, if you know the name Kashido, good for you. If you don't, get out. Anyway, um, yeah, this is the farm. This is sort of the progress I've got. I've just got chickens, cows, mushrooms, pigs, and a weird horse. Yay! <clears throat> anyway, you might notice that there is a lot of machinery disappeared. All the wires are gone. All the things are gone over there. Even in the building itself, all of it is gone. Gone, 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 gone. Uh, nothing here except obviously the armor stands and some stuff in. Oh, oh yeah, I made a long shot. Then realized I had a jetpack and didn't need it. By the way, I have the new armored resonant jetpack. The other one was just absolutely terrible in my opinion. It was all right, but it doesn't do half the stuff this does. So if I turn this jetpack on, I can fly better because I go up. A lot easier. There's no rotten sounds, and I can have a jet jetpack rainbow. So yeah, I shoot rainbow sparkles now. I sparkle like a rainbow, and I can put on hover mode, and I have a lot of rainbow sparkles. Well, that's not the reason why. Hover mode does slowly go down after a time, but I don't need to worry about hydrogen for it. I also have a matter cannon, which is a gun that pretty much shoots lead nuggets at people. All I need to do is charge that up. Also, I am a wizard. Well, kind of. I'm slowly. I'm a level eight Ars Magica wizard. Uh, I've just pretty much decided to go into Ars Magica, which means I can now replace these with lights. This is pretty much a light spell. When I cast it, it just puts up this little thing. Essentially, it's a projectile version of having a torch so if I want to put a torch anywhere in a cave I just bring up this spell and blast the wall with it and there you go problem solved I also don't need tools anymore we'll have a new entry in my book don't need tools anymore because I have this thing here called touch dig fireball to face oh, I'm out of stuff die 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 I'm out of mana oh well right you can also dig with this thing which is touch digs. Instantly dig, so there's no messing around. But it does cost mana. Uh, so I have to be careful with that. Anyway, yeah, so everything has disappeared on this farm, and you may have noticed that. Wah! Buzz off. Ugh, it's the only problem with the matter cannon. If you miss, it does wreck the area. So you have to be careful with it. Um. This area is no longer my science area. I've got the giant science thing there still, but this is an area I no longer do science on. Um, I, however, do all of my magical crops. And I've been a busy bee gathering up all of these. It's been months, uh, been about a month or so since I, you guys had been here legit because of the videos and everything. So I have managed to accrue a lot of seeds over the time. And it is really quite an interesting little mod this you can actually just practically grow and I say any item any base item even modded ones in the game and it's really interesting so this these obsidian seeds can actually turn things into obsidian with the uh, obsidian essence which I will show you at some point ender crops you can create end stone so any recipe that needs end stone you just grow these also creates ender pearls, which are really handy if you are wanting a lot of ender pearls. And for someone who's a scientist, you need a lot of stuff called resonant ender, which is liquid ender pearls, pretty much. These are diamonds. I am literally now growing diamonds. I don't need to go searching for them anymore. I grow it. However, it is a bit terrible because I need to get eight diamond essence for one diamond and they don't grow instantly. This is the area for the mobs, so I'm growing wither skeletons. It sounds like a really bad thing to do, but trust me, it's not, because in this, 
you don't actually have to beat the Wither to get Nether Stars. And that always gets me. Always makes me think there's a creeper behind me. They were creeper seeds. Skeleton seeds. Yeah, they make the cool mob sounds when you break it. I like that. And then these are gas seeds. And they make gas sounds. Uh, they give you gas tears and stuff like that. So yeah, it is really nice to have this little thing here. So this is pretty much just the farm. This is all this is going to be used for. Growing crops and uh, the animals over there where I'll be able to get stuff from them when I figure out a way of doing that. Sending stuff back to the new science lab, however, I just use this and it will pick it up the other end. As you can see, they are now being taken out because it's all hooked up to my computer. Which is in a place that I'm about to head to. Do I not have any food on me? Typical for me. Uh, oh, I also have a gravity gun. I'll show you what a gravity gun does for those who don't know. Uh, you left click. No, you right click and it picks up a block. You can wiggle the block around, it's quite cool. And then you left click, and it will fire the block, and then it will land. You can use these blocks as weapons as well, which is really good. So yeah, that is really cool. Okay, so what do I want here? Oh, I've also started in Mariculture. I've pretty much went down every mod. Right, I need the ME Wireless Access Terminal. This is like a little iPad, I'll show you it in a sec. So, to the new lab. So ladies and gents, here we are. This is a lab that I pretty much built in creative mode, but I absolutely love it. A lot of this, uh, the build is only the building. Now remember, only the building itself is creative mode. Okay? Just the building. I just want to drill that in. Everything else is done 100% legit. So here we have the drive bay for the computer. The pretty much I'm going to take all going to create a load more of those. Fill up them all, at, uh, fill up all these gaps. So it'll have to be a giant supercomputer thing. Then we can get rid of the door because I don't need to access that until I put drives in. We've got a lot more drives. There's a lot of stuff in here because I went to a Triton dungeon and I got a load of things. But as you can see, I've got all the bio generators still in here. These take one space up in a drive. And there's only like 60 odd spaces per drive. Got a load of wires. And this is the main room. Yes, there is a bit of lag here. I don't know what's causing the lag space. Uh, the bit of lag but it is seriously annoying to have this much lag but this is where all those things went uh, that I put in the chest the other side this is the ender chest and they pretty much go straight into the computer uh, this thing is how I reload my gun so I put my gun there and I have 1181 shots left so lots uh, that is a wireless access thing now this is a crafting terminal I don't know if you saw this I pretty much can craft anything in the game from here, provided I have the materials stored in the computer. So let me just check that I'm in recipe mode. I am. Uh, so let's think of something to craft. Uh, let's say a bucket, a, bake it, a basic little bucket. Okay, so what I do is I click that, brings up the recipe for a bucket if you go over here. So it's just pretty much three iron or whatever other metals you want to decide to use, but we'll go for iron. Then you shift right click, it puts the material straight in here, and then all you do is you just keep clicking, and then you go. You click that, and you're done. That's how I'm crafting things from now on. Oh, 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 need to leave it on that. So yeah, that's that. And I have managed to get a load of stuff. So for example, iron, I have 1,796 ores, 120 blocks and 439 bars. I don't need any more iron for a very, very, very long time. Redstone, on the other hand, whew, 2,819 and then 739. And they have all been dug out of the ground by the digital miner in this area. So, yeah, this is very interesting, this place. I really do like it. All these wires were put in. Uh, this is the next room. I only recently just built this. I've got a giant reactor for power. I have that uh, smeltery for smelting things and my altar for my spells. Uh, in case you're wondering what this is, this is a travel anchor. Now, if I look at another one and press space, it'll teleport me to it. So I can pretty much just teleport around my entire place. 
and then this is the roof which is all spiky like so I'm going to put my jetpack on and we're going to have a ouch fly around now is this the front yes it is right here I'm in hover mode this is the ender labs I've I don't know why but as you can see there's a giant ender eye on the top and yeah it's not even remotely finished I want to get all of them to look pretty much the same um, but I just thought I'd put all my stuff in and continue there but this is the ender labs and my god I think this looks absolutely fantastic now when I did a let's build a science lab and I have said in one of the episodes of TLC previously that I didn't really do it justice because I was rushing it this is the sort of thing I can build when I have time on my hands I am not even finished this is probably about 68% finished I still want to put windows and stuff on this level here I still need to add uh, a border to the edge of these um, domes these cool domes and I need to add this kind of green circuit board stuff to this bit okay so and then I've got to finish the moat and then just decorate the outside area and in case you're wondering I am in a giant ass wasteland yeah so to the north is a forest that way is an ominous forest down there's more wasteland and over there's just a big giant swamp sewage type thing so yeah not pleasant place to be but perfect for a science lab so yeah that, that's pretty much all there is to show of this place so uh, at the beginning of the video I would have put skip to meh for actual news if you're not interested in getting the tour of this place so for all of those that skipped hi welcome to the next section this is where the actual news is you guys didn't really miss much uh, in case you were wondering though just in case you didn't watch the stuff previous sorry for those who did this is the ender labs this is where I'm doing all my stuff now don't worry about it if you want to see what it is just watch the entire video uh, it will show you pretty much what this is all about now for actual news um, description below I have a Twitter page set up every time a video is uploaded and goes live it will automatically update the Twitter for you so those of you who have Twitter click the link below follow me on Twitter and if you want to keep up to date on all my videos it will instantly give you an update whenever I put one live so if it's something you're interested in watching it will show you that say oh the next episode of Far Cry 3 is up I'll go and watch that or something like I don't know a new meaty sneak peek about a game I've heard of but not sure if I want to get yeah I'll go watch that so go ahead and follow me on Twitter um, I always try and link, um, the, if I ever do a meaty sneak peek, or even if I'm not, I try and link the game I'm playing to the, a Steam page that actually has the game. God. And if anyone's familiar with Ars Magica, just a little side note, let me know how I can reduce this, because I do not want to get solid bones and not be able to walk. It's, not, it's very soon that I'll start getting the stone skin buff, and I'm not keen on that. I want to go more this way. Because that way I'm resistant to fire and my punches burn. Anyway, um, so yeah, Twitter, follow me on Twitter if you can. Uh, Steam, like I said, um, I also have a Steam group for those who don't know. Follow me on the Steam group. I Feel free to talk to people there. Um, add me on Steam as well, MagmaJaw. Just search MagmaJaw, sends friends request, and I'm more than happy to add people for the time being. That may stop if I get too many. Uh, at the moment, not even any chance of that happening. But well, might stop if I get too many. Uh, what was I doing in this bit? I don't remember. Let's get some more silver. Please. Did I just put that back? I did just put that back in there. Oh, I'll put it there. Okay. Uh, silver there. Yes. Yes. There we go. Okay, that's cool. Now I'll now sort out the silver for me on, my, on its own. Uh, this place is laggy as hell. Let's go back to the magic lab thing. There we go. We're back here. And we'll, we'll just uh, get rid of these crops for the rest of the news. Okay. Uh, meaty sneak peeks I did recently was Delver and Gone Home. Uh, I believe both of them are up. So feel free to go check those out. There will be a couple more meaty sneak peeks on its way. In Gone Home, I did say that I wanted to do a full playthrough of the game. For those who haven't seen it, that is spoilers, but yeah. 
it, it's at the very end of the video, so it doesn't really ruin anything anyway. Um, I will genuinely want to do a full playthrough of that game, purely because it deserves proper attention and not the attention I gave it. Which is pretty much me walking in and just messing around with the cassette player. <clears throat> Those of you who have seen it can vouch for me on that one. I did just mess around with a cassette player. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I will uh, be definitely wanting to do a full playthrough on that. Not sure when that'll be. Uh, the next permadeath. I've decided on the next permadeath. Far Cry 3 is still going. Before you're panicking, I haven't died in Far Cry 3, if that's what you're wondering. The next permadeath, just letting you know what it will be, will be Organ Trail, which is an absolutely doody little, like, 8-bit game. It's a zombie survival game, but it's 8-bit. It sounds... For those who don't like 8-bit games, it might sound boring, but there's a lot of management, and you get one life. You die, you're gone for good. So, yeah. It's what I like about it. There's actually risk. Rather than, oh, don't worry about it, you'll just respawn. You won't respawn in this. You've got your literal one life and that's it. So yay! But So pretty much when I die in that, because it will happen at some point, that's a definite permanent death. I will not respawn. There is no way I can just hide the deaths. Which I am not doing anyway. So uh, yeah, so there's that news there. I think that's pretty much it for the news. Twitter, yes, I mentioned Twitter. Uh, anything else I need to remember quickly? Oh, yeah, uh, there will be, for those of you who know what the Elder Scrolls Oblivion is, and those of you who don't, Google it, um, there will be a new thing coming up, a skit, uh, which is pretty much like a machinima thing, where I will voice act some characters. I don't panic too much about it when you see it. It's mostly for another YouTuber called Team UDF. Go ahead, check him out if you really want to. He's also on Twitch, uh, Team UDF, same thing. Is really cool, really awesome, really fun. American guy. And, um, yeah, I'll be doing a mini skit for him and one of his characters that he has on Oblivion. Um, he recently started a random Oblivion Let's Play and created a character named Cocaintium, which happens to be a drug-induced droid of some form. What? Oh, that was me breaking the... Yeah. And I will be voice acting said drug-induced... Uh, drug-induced droid. God, that's a bit of a mouthful anyway. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're doing that and I'll be having a little bit of fun with it. If I like it, I might continue it, but I might want to do it with different characters because realistically, Cocaintium isn't my character, is not my creation, and I would feel like I'm plagiarizing, plagiarizing his content. But he might be covering my video in one of his live streams if he gets time to do so. So I will let you know if that's the case, because I will try and see if I can't get him to give me a recording of that. And then I'll put that up on the channel, and you guys can watch that. For those who are interested. But other than that, there's not... Why are they... Did I blow the fence up? What the hell is this hat? Must have blown the fence up. I'll sort that out. Oh, jetpack, 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 thank you. Go all the way up. Or not. Go back down again. But that's pretty much um, the news so far. Not much else to really cover. Um, just make sure, like I said, if you have a Twitter account and you want to know when my videos are up, because you don't always get you don't always get like updates or anything, uh, just follow it. Seriously, just follow the Twitter. It's I don't really do much more than use it to update um, when I have a video up. Uh, I mean, I do post occasionally to other YouTubers, but other than that, that's it. That's all it's really used for. So if you want to send me a tweet as well, go ahead, I'll say hi, and we can chat about games this. Or if you've got any suggestions for things you want to see on the channel, go ahead. That's uh, that's what that's there for. So thank you all very much for watching. Those of you who sat and watched this entire thing, you are much more braver than I am. Because I wouldn't. Go away. I forgot to remove this. So, apart from that, I hope you're all having a fantastic uh, week. Or, or, we'll rephrase that, because I don't know when this is going to be uploaded. So, it'll be either, you've make sure you have a fantastic week, or you've had a fantastic week, or eat some chocolate, one of them, three, pick one. And I will catch you all next time for some more meatball and sausage news. Take care, everyone, and goodbye.